Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of LMB Outdoors. Today I'm going to be reviewing what all I got for Christmas and just what I'm going to be using it for this year when uh when I'm fishing in the high school tournaments and stuff like that. So let me turn the camera around and I'll get it all set up and everything and then I'll get right back to you. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is my spinner baits. I don't have many of them right now because I'm trying to stock up on one thing at a time. And spinner baits are one thing that I'm trying to stock up on right now. So I only have like three or four. But I store mine in this uh, Plano spinnerbait box. So let's open this up and uh, take a look at what spinnerbaits I do have right now. So the first one that I do have right now, this is a uh, a Booyah uh, spinnerbait. has a, uh, a gold and a silver blade. Um, This is, this is just a, uh, a tactical shad color. Um, it's just a silver and a, a white and black. But uh, I really like Booyah. They've always worked out for me. The next one that we have here is a, uh, it's just a, a solid gold one. I'm, I'll mainly just use this in dirtier water and things like that. But, uh, this, this has a, uh, Colorado and a willow blade on it. Um, the next one that we have, this is just a white and chartreuse one. A gold and a silver blade. Uh, I mainly just like to stick to, uh, gold and silver blades. I don't like to get too wild with the color of the blades and everything. This is just a white and chartreuse one. Another booyah. All of these are 3 8 ounce too. Okay, so that's all with those. The next thing we're going to look at is uh, is my tungsten weights. So, here are the weights that I use. The only weights that I use are tungsten and EcoPro. Um, or Strike King tungsten and EcoPro tungsten. So, the first one that we have here, this is a, uh, let me zoom in on it. This is a, uh, a Strike King. I mainly just use this for, for pitching and flipping and things like that. I don't pitch a lot and I don't punch a lot with these because I mainly use jigs when I'm punching and stuff. But, uh, yeah, these are the insert free Strike King ones. I'm not going to go over all of these. Like, uh, like, and here is the, uh, the Eco Pro ones. These are just the, uh, the Eco Pro worm weights, as you can see. Um, they're kind of the same thing. I mean, they're all tungsten and everything. So I got 3 8 ounce in these. Uh, 3 16 5 16 1 4 and uh, I think, uh, and then 3 8 But uh, like I say, they're the same thing. I'm not going to go over all of them. That would take forever. But uh, yeah, that's what all I have for that. And uh, so let me close this up and we'll take a look at our jerk baits. So, I just got into jerk bait fishing this year. Uh, I haven't, I don't got a whole lot of jerk baits because the jerk baits that I use are really expensive. So, uh, I'm getting two more. I think tomorrow or the next day. These are the uh, the Mega Bass Vision 110s. Um, these are really nice. They have real nice hooks on them. If I'd focus, real nice hooks on them. The barbs on the outside of them. You can see. Maybe I can hold it still and you can look at them. As you can see, the barbs on the outside of these are able to show up. Anyway, this is just a, uh, like a chartreuse uh, shad. Not a chartreuse, like a sexy shad. It's the chartreuse line down the side of it. It's kind of like a purple back to it. Um, the next one, this is just a, a solid white one. Um, you can use this in any color. These are all same size. I think these are half ounce. Um, just white, a little, little bit of yellow on the belly. And the next one, this is just kind of like a, a natural shed. This is just a little bit of silver and a little bit of pearl on the bottom. These are all the same, just the, the Vision 110s. Um, I think these run like 9 foot, so uh, that's, that's plenty deep. Um, then the next one that we have, this is just like a uh, like a tactical shed one, like I say. It's just like a, a black and silver. It's the red gill plate, but... I really like the hooks on these things. Aaron Martin's uses these, and he's real particular about his hooks. But uh, as you can see right there, that's the uh, that's the hook with the barb on the outside. Um, he's real particular about his hooks, and uh, he says these hooks are really nice. So the next thing that we're going to be looking at here is uh is jigs. I have a I have a bunch of jigs. That's one thing that I do like to do a lot is jig fish. Um, so. The reason all of this is out of the box is because I just, I put all these in my, 
Um, I got all this stuff for Christmas, so it's not in the same boxes anymore. But uh, this is all the stuff that I'm gonna be using this year in the tournaments and stuff. This right here, I mainly use dirty jigs. This is just a one of their pitch-in jigs. It's just solid white. I don't know if you can hear that, but my dog's barking in the background. That's really annoying. And I have two of those, both in three eighths ounce. Then moving on, we have a uh, a black and a brown one. Same thing, three eighths ounce pitching jig, uh, dirty jigs. Um, I really like these. these this is the uh, the OD series. These are really nice though. Um, I also have two of those. I like keeping two of everything because I don't know if you get snagged or you you break off or anything. Um, the next thing is is football jigs. Uh, I mainly use these during the summer. This is just Another Dirty Jigs, Peanut Butter and Jelly. Um, like I say, I have two of these two. Both of, both of those in half ounce. Uh, then moving on down, we have some, some watermelon ones. I have two of these two. Just half ounce, same thing. Um, then the next one we have, these are Green Pumpkin. Just a little bit darker than the watermelon. It's not really like a true green pumpkin, but it's a little bit darker. Um, then moving on down, here we have some some black and brown ones. I like to stick to basic colors. That's just always worked out for me. It's just basic colors, not getting too far off track of just going wild with like all these different colors and stuff. Um, I have another one of those, just half ounce. I like to throw half ounce. That's good for me because I ain't fishing in water over 30 feet, 20 feet. So the next thing that we have are punching jigs. Uh, these are just this. Is, all of these are one ounce except the uh, the Bama crawl one. This is just a one ounce dirty jigs punching jig, as you can see. These are real nice. I caught a uh, a seven on this uh, on this color jig last year on a punching jig. And this is the uh, the three four ounce one. This is just in Bama crawl. Um, just a green pumpkin, a little bit of orange on the back of it. The next one we have this is just pond bug. It's just a is a real nice one. I like the colors on this one. She's a green pumpkin and a purple one. Has a little bit of purple on the back of it. And the next one that we have this is just another black and blue one. Like I said, I caught a, a seven on this one last year. These, and uh, if you didn't notice, these um, dirty jigs, they have a, a real big beefy hook on them. I think this is like a uh, a 4 alt or a 5 alt gamagatsu. So it's just a really big hook. So you ain't going to bend these things out. Um, so the next thing that we're going to look at is my topwater box. I don't have a ton of topwater, but I think I have enough for, for what I use it for. Um, so going into topwater... Um, the first thing that we got here is a uh, is a live target sunfish. I actually found this thing in a uh, in a tree at one of my local ponds, so I took this out there and I, I used it. Then keep it on target. Um, we have another live target. This is a uh, a field mouse live target field mouse, just a brown like a, a natural color. Um, moving on down. Uh, we have some sexy dogs. This, these are the spooks that I like to use. They've just worked for me. This is just the the sexy dog junior, just in a uh, in bone color, just white. I mainly use this when it's cloudy and things like that. Then the next one that I have, this is just like a a chrome chad one. Uh, it's just chrome, a little bit of chartreuse line down the side of it, just blue on the top. Um, it really doesn't matter what color you get because the fish are only going to be seeing the bottom of it when you're fishing top water. So I just like to stick with either chrome or white or, or black or something like that. Just basic colors. So the next thing we're looking at is uh, is my frogs. I don't have a lot of frogs, but I have enough frogs for what I do with them. This is just a, uh, a spro, just the junior size. Just solid white. Like I say, just stick to basic colors. The only thing they'll see is the bottom. And the next one that I have, this is just a solid black one. And uh, one thing about frogs, if you trim one side of the skirt uh, shorter than the other, then they'll, they'll walk a lot better. Um, it's just solid black all the way around. That's the bigger size. Then I have a, a bluegill colored one. It's just 
So you can see the top of it is just a bluegill color. That's how the bottom is too. Um, has a chartreuse tails. So the next thing that we're going to look at is um, poppers and whopper ploppers. So this is the only whopper plopper that I have right now. I think it's just, this is just like a blueback herring, I think. It has like a little bit of blue on the bottom and stuff like that. Um, I haven't caught anything on this or on that whopper plopper, actually. And then this is a popper. I mean, they use this when uh, when the fish are schooling or things like that. But uh, I only have one of them. This is the uh, the big size rubble popper. You know, just white mouth, everything. I'm going to uh, exchange the hooks out on these. These are kind of cheap hooks and they ain't very sharp. So I'm going to change out the hooks on those. Um, and moving on up, we have... Uh, trying to get this undone. We have the bigger version of the sexy doll. This is just the bigger version. Just bone, like I say. I like to stick to these two basic colors. Um, oh. See, you can see the front of it. And here's just the, the chrome shad. Just chrome with a little bit of chartreuse and blue on it. I'll show you the front of it. Just chrome all the way up. Okay. So, uh, I'm thinking that's all besides my crawls. Let me, let me put this up and then I'll get my crawls out real quick. For crawls, I mainly just use... Rage tails. Um, that's just what's worked out for me so far. Getting into these. The first kind that I have right here. Let me move this back real quick. First kind that I have right here. This is just the uh, the Rage Tail Space Monkeys. Um, let me move this real quick. Like I said these are just the the Rage Tail uh, Space Monkeys. Um, then the next one that we have. Uh, it's just. Um, watermelon, red flake. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all these. I would take forever. Um, but anyway, I have like four or five packs of different of these. I think I have, I have white, green pumpkin, and blue crawl. Um, I'm not gonna go into all of those. And those are all in the full size version of the rage crawls. Um, the next thing that we have are the the mini rage crawls. I like to use these as jig trailers and things like that. Um, these are just, uh, this is, uh, watermelon candy crawl. Uh, just watermelon with, like, a, a purple and green flake. I'll see if I can zoom in on this. Maybe it'll focus. As you can see, it's just, like, a, a watermelon with, like, a purple and green flake. Um, I like to use these in clear or dirty water. But, uh, yeah. Those are real nice. Um, the next kind I have, uh, watermelon red flake. Uh, Bama Crawl. I'll show you the, the Bama Crawl. Um, see, those are Bama Crawls. It's just like a, a green pumpkin with orange on it, as you can see. I like to use those in kind of a stained water. Um, then we have Black and Blue. Everybody knows what that is. And we have this. This is Blue Crawl. I really like this because you can use this in any color water, really. It's just like a green pumpkin with a little bit of blue in it. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, also have, uh, Summer Crawl and Green Pumpkin. Not gonna go into all of them, because that would take forever, like I said. But, uh, yeah. That's all, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, I think I'm gonna be posting a video on the, uh, the new Live Target, uh, Gizzard Shed. So, uh, be looking out for that. And, uh.